Hello and welcome, I'm Tetsudo and today I'm going to introduce you to usage of alpha and creating of alpha channels for DDS files using GIMP. So my first step is to fire up GIMP. Of course you can do it with any other program you're using. I'm just going to uh, show you with GIMP as example since it's a free program. It's easy to get. Good. I'll just load in an example file. I just assume this is my file. Um, this is now a texture in a game. And I want the alpha layer. Alpha layer tells the game which part of the picture reflects how much. Or if the game is set up for it, if the picture is transparent or not. So, uh, first I'm going to show you the fast way of doing it, and then I show you how you would actually customize it for something special. Alright, so this is my image and I'm going to switch it image mode to grayscale, since the alpha channel is the visibility channels, which you can see in a moment. Anyways, the alpha channel can just differentiate between black white and everything between he doesn't know colors so I switch it to grayscale now I'm gonna add an alpha layer oops wrong button right click on it add alpha channel so you can now see the alpha it's completely white completely white means uh, it's not transparent so uh, let's assume I delete something and what you're seeing under my cursor is basically the background. There's nothing. It's it's like transparent. And this is gonna be what my alpha channel is like. Uh, well, it would look like it's the opposite of what you're seeing here. The black is white, and that line is black. So it's completely transparent. It's black. Yeah. So. Now it's possible to make a fast, a very fast alpha layer just using the gray image of the object. Since usually, well not always, since usually um, the very brightly colored things are gonna reflect more than dark things like black. Well, uh, okay, uh, metallic black and stuff is the exception, that's why you gotta customize it. But here's the fast way. So. You're gonna have the gray image, and I'm gonna copy it. And I'm going back to the start. Okay. Now I've got a gray copy of this image in my. Uh, what did, what did, uh, yeah, never mind. Just go with it. And I'm gonna go to layers. And I'm gonna go right click. I'm gonna go uh, add layer mask. Which is basically a uh, transparency layer in this case. I'm just gonna go white since I'm replacing it. I'm just copy pasting what I already had back in. And now I can show you. Show layer mask. This is now my layer mask. And I can edit it. You would usually just go to brightness, contrast. You would uh, increase the contrast and still it seems fitting. You're gonna tune down the brightness just a little bit. Looks good. So everything's white, it's gonna be full color or whatever. And everything black is gonna be completely transparent. So I'm gonna show you the applied mask again. That would look like this. You see, there's the texture. And now I'm just gonna go apply. And it's in the channel right there it's there so now since it still isn't the DDS file we get to convert it how are you gonna do that okay so since it's alpha channel basically is transparency you can save it as a file that has transparency I wouldn't recommend GIF since it would damage the file greatly, but I can re recommend 
PNG. So I'm going to save it as PNG file. Testing PNG. Just going to, oh, sorry. Just going to save it on a desktop. So, yes. Um, yeah, I just finished this one and then I'll tell you how to actually make a custom one. Okay, I'm just gonna use the Compressinator, which is a program by ATI AMD. Uh, it's free, free to download. That's why I'm using it. Show alpha. This is our alpha layer. This is our color layer. Alpha, color. So. I'm gonna just generate the mid maps, compress it. DXT5 is usually the best choice unless you do not want an alpha channel. So compress. Result before comparison. I'm just gonna go save the file and that's basically it. So how do you make a custom one? I'm gonna go back to GIMP. I'm gonna go back to the start. So, here's my image. I'm just gonna add the layer again. So, let's assume I just save this to the desktop, which I have, and I'm now saying. I'm gonna go. Yeah, if you do this afterwards or forward, I'm gonna switch to grayscale anyway. And back. So I uh, let's say I want the eyes to be uh, reflecting like crazy. So I'm gonna go white, color rose. In. Of course, uh, whatever tool you're using for this, it's completely up to you. I just use GIMP because it's free. So let's assume I want those horns. So it's just an example. I'm not gonna make it very very pretty but I'm just gonna get the thing done. So horns. Okay let's say I want this now oh, this seems pretty okay what well, I think maybe maybe I just I may just make the nose shine not at all or yeah maybe just a bit less. So I'm gonna go colorize, brightness, contrast, brightness. Oh, yeah that seems fine. So this is how you make your custom one. Let's say ha, ah, that's fine. Lips of death. Ah it's a wrong tool. That's basically it. You can use any program you want. It's, it's perfectly up to you. Just messing around a bit. Good. So I'm gonna take this one and mark it all. Control A, Control C, and now I'm gonna close it and just open up my normal one. I'm just gonna go there. Add alpha channel. Add layer mask. Add. Copy paste. it in, apply it, sun, horn shine, eyes shine, and you see how badly I screwed around, now just save it as PNG, do the same thing in compression and it's done. That's it. I hope it was helpful. See you next time.